Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I certainly hope you're having a fine one. Now, what this video is about is repairing old knife sheaths, or in this case, a new knife sheath. This is a Mosh Eddy 3100 by Columbia River Knives and Tools. And as you can see, I've replaced the stock rivets because the rivets that were on this, all 12 of them, were crap. And they're in that pile right there. And I'll show you what I did here. Let me get to this so I can save time. This is the only tool I use is my Leatherman. I have one more dysfunctional rivet that I am going to replace right here to show you this technique you may be unaware of. These were very cheesy rivets. I hated them. And I even made a couple videos. But what I did is I... These, these are a ring type typed rivet. They have a ring on the back side here. You see that? I just popped that doggone thing off with my Leatherman screwdriver there. Now, what I did is I kind of smashed it, this other half down right here so it pops out a little bit better. If you follow what I'm doing here. Because it'll want to hang up when I turn this over and pull that head out. And these are those string through type rivets, and that's for paracord. Well, we live in a paracord happy society. I carry plenty of cord paracord with me, and I didn't need any paracord on this on this uh, particular knife sheath. And this fix right here, ladies and gentlemen, can apply to your old granddad's buoy or, you know, whatever. But you see what I did there? I just pried that rivet up, and we're just going to pull this guy out of here, the body of this thing. Okay, you see, I mean, th th these are really a piece of junk. No kidding. I was bound to determine to fix this one way or the other. And like I say, I did a couple of videos. I did a chopping video and a review video on this machete because I like it. Okay, and how I did this, and this can apply to leather sheaths or whatever have you. But you see this guy right here? This is what they call... An aluminum binding post. You might be able to read that right down there. These are 8 30 seconds times 3 16 of an inch long aluminum binding posts with open ends. So, there you go. There's one side, and this is the female side right there. And basically, all, all I'm going to do is, you know, these this jobber screws together. A Chicago screw will do this trick too. But you take and you just, you know, slip the female part in there like that. If you can see that. And then, you know, you're going to take this male, the male bolt, if you will, which has got eight thirty seconds threads, and you're going to thread it together. Now, I'm not going to get all carried away here but, you know now the reason why I got this or get all long winded I say I got this glue sitting out in this five minute epoxy because I've been on all eleven other uh, binding screws or binding bolts here whatever have you I put a drop of five minute epoxy in there so they wouldn't come out which I'll do that because this is the last one I gotta do to finish up this project but I guarantee you that's a much stabler situation than messing around with like these pop rivets. Here, here, here's a pop rivet, and I know you guys know what the, those doggone things are. This is this is one of them jobbers. This is not a string through, but this is one of them jobbers that you you know you you put through your leather and you pound on them or you seat them with a tool. Well, I don't like them either. I've seen them come apart. Now, if you use these binding posts or Chicago screws, you won't have any trouble. 
You won't end up with junk like this. I mean, just 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 take a <laughs> take a look at this crap, you know. I was bound determined to make a decent sheath because this is a decent sheath. So I did it with aluminum binding posts, you know, and they're 60 cents a piece. You can probably see that right there. The only trick is you go on to your local hardware store and make sure that they're not too long. You see what I mean? Or, they, or they'll bottom out before they start putting pressure, you know, on your material, whether it be leather or nylon or whatever have you. But this, the point being is these, well, these, these binding screws, they make these, or binding bolts, they make these out of stainless steel, and you can actually get them out of aluminum. Well, these are aluminum, you can get them out of nylon, excuse me. And so there you are. And this is a much better sheath for what I did. It only took me about an hour to do this. And what you've seen me, the magic you've seen me work with my Leatherman, that's all I used, and everything you see here with the epoxy and the little toothpick, and that's all I used. But much sturdier situation, and like I say, you can use this system on a real, an old, you know, keepsake uh, a sheet that your grandfather's got, or your uncle's got, or you got, or whatever have you. But just make sure you get the right size of Chicago screw or these these uh, aluminum binding posts. And like I say, they do make them out of stainless steel, which are pretty doggone expensive, and they do make them out of nylon, which are kind of cheaper. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I hope you learned something. And like I say, this is a much better setup. Have a nice day. Thanks for reviewing the video.